This is a quick video that shows you how you can use QuickBase, use pipelines, and work with DocuSign to be able to document some kind of an approval template that is created inside of DocuSign. So first of all, you have to have a DocuSign account. And I created a new template um, here, created a new template, and walked through that process. This is something that's common to DocuSign. And if I click in here, you can see the template that I, I put in here. Um, I'm going to edit this one so we see what, uh, what the components are, just so you see. I've got a, the name of it up above. I uploaded a PDF document that just has a signature on it. And down below here, you this is who's going to be receiving this. Uh, this is what will be passed over as part of the role uh, as the approving signatory. But of course, the name and email can be blank because it's going to be processed from QuickBase with our pipelines in just a second. So this is uh, um, out and ready to uh, be used. Um, if I come down here, I've dragged this information into the places where I want them. And you can see drawing. And so we're going to have a lot of uh, uh, fun looking at that, if you consider this fun. I do. Uh, so let's, uh, let's save and close this. I'm going to go over to um, QuickBase. Now, inside QuickBase, I've got a QuickBase record here with my email address on it and my name. You see my name up here and my email address, Kirk Tracy at Gmail. And down below, I've got a process drop down box that says, when I'm ready, I'm going to send it to DocuSign. You could use check boxes or whatever that is. So let's take a look at the pipelines that make this happen. Now, QuickBase pipelines are listening events. Uh, so you've got um, triggers and then actions that result because of it. And having a record updated in QuickBase was the scenario that I'm using here. So I said whenever a record is updated and the second one is the triggering event, I drag that over here and it opened up and let me select things. So the things that uh, I'm going to select here are um, the table. Now, uh, if I go, go back to the QuickBase ABC DocuSign Contact Manager, that's the name of the app. You've got to create a user token uh, for that. And if I came over back into the app and clicked on my name up, up, up above here, I could click on My Preferences and create and select this application to have a user token. What that does is it allows me, when I'm doing the pipeline, to be able to find that application. And in my drop-down box, I'll find all the other applications I've got. But this is the one that I want. And it requires that you've already done a user token. And down below here, um, I want to use the process field to be um, the triggering event, but only if the process is sent via DocuSign. And you can um, see this, this is that drop down box. Now, when I get down to the next step, which is the action, what I want to be able to do is use the process, the name, company, title, and email fields. So I've added them in here, but all the other fields are here. Uh, you won't be able to use all these fields with DocuSign, but I, I wanted to use these in the next steps. So the very next thing we're going to do is the action. And if I come down here to DocuSign, um, and this is the one right here, send an envelope for signature using the template. I drag that over here to uh, step B. And let's take a look at what's inside that. OK, um, uh, this is our account. Because I entered my credentials over here, it recognizes that that's the only account that I've got. Uh, the template, if you've got multiple records in here, I'm, I'm going to use this MNDA one. Um, the subject, um, you can drag fields like this over so it embellishes the uh, subject line if you want to do that. This way, if you're do, doing a whole bunch of approvals, you can see that in your subject line very easily, which one is which, because they could all look the same if you're doing a lot of them. Uh, if you've got a field over here, let's say a body field, you could drag that over for the email body. I just put a hard, I just keyboarded that as a hard code. You can set expirations and whether or not that is enabled. 
And uh, so down here, these are the things that we can use from step A. Step A was when the record was modified in QuickBase. So I can drag this information and I have under email, the name, and I hard coded this one as approving signatory. And uh, that's the end of this. So I'm going to turn this on. I'm going to go back over here and uh, I'm going to edit the process field to, to do this. Now, this is the triggering event. I'm going to go back over to pipelines and look at it as it monitors through the process. It's uh, recognized that that scenario has happened and it's sending the envelope out for signature um, here. So we've, we're, we're complete in that process of it sending us this. So let's go over to my email and right up here, I have an email notification and I'm going to click on review the document. So it allows me to approve the terms and conditions and continue. And this is just a, a document example. So what we've got is a bunch of stuff. So we can say start. Well, I need the initial. And it says, is this the initial you want? Or do you want to upload an initial or draw? I'm going to say it's OK. Um, let, just for fun, uh, let's just play with this a second. There's another option you can add to add to them. I'm going to sign it. Um, I can come over here and say red, green, and blue. I can do check boxes. You can put these in here to kind of add additional color to what you're doing. And instead of finish, you can use the um, approve um, at the bottom if you wish to. And if you want to sign up for an account, you can. But I'm going to say no thanks. Now we're all done. And now what that's also going to do is send me a confirmation of the completed document right here. So that's a, a quick view of what you can do um, potentially with uh, DocuSign and pipelines and QuickBase. But this is only scratching the surface because we're only talking about templates at this time. If you want to know more about what you can do, uh, our pipelines help shows you uh, information step by step on how you can uh, step this up and configure this for your use case. We cover things like this in our webinars that are held Monday through Friday. It's called Office Hours, held at 1 p.m. East Coast time um, on each of those days. Uh, look forward to talking to you. Thanks.